guys, it is July 5th. My art snacks came in today, so that means it's time for a joint review. This month, I am not going to be reviewing Sketchbox Premium. I have ended that subscription. I will be reviewing Sketchbox Basic and art snacks. If you guys are interested in some of my other Sketchbox unboxings, please check out this playlist here. Or check out my blog at natasu.blogspot.com. So, we're going to start with the Sketchbox. It's got this lovely art on the cover. It is by Jade Petrunek. Her Instagram is creativecranium98. Her Tumblr is juiceboxjade. Oh, and actually, before I go any further, I do need to, to note that neither of these companies are sponsors of me or my blog. All opinions are my own. All opinions are based on 10 years of working as an illustrator and a comic artist, seven years working as an art supply reviewer. Um, I'm older than I sound. And uh, the Sketchbox Premium subscription, I, I purchased a year's worth of that out of pocket. The Art Snacks was given to me by my mother as a Christmas present for the purposes of review. These videos are made possible. I am able to share them with the public thanks to the generosity of my backers on Patreon. So, just thought I'd get that out of the way before I forgot. So, inside this box, we have a lovely piece of art. And it is by Kayana. Uh, I am a 22-year-old artist living in Phoenix, Arizona. Art has always been a passion for me since I was a child, and I've never for a minute second-guessed my dedication to drawing and painting. After the military, I went on to become an animation student, and I feel like I'm really following my dreams, which has always been important to me. When I'm not spending time on homework, I am sketching monsters and creatures from my dreams and imagination. My favorite medium would have to be ink, because it can be intensely bold and make colors jump off the page. A close second is watercolor, because it was easy for me to learn, and I love how beautifully the paint can flow on the paper. The one piece of advice that has stuck with me and always comes back is something my art teacher told me before I graduated high school, and that was, be the sponge. Soak up as much knowledge and inspiration as you can and always be a curious artist. I love that. Art of Cryptic Inc. Com. Instagram at Krypton Inc. We're so thankful for the talent that Kayana shared with us. If you'd like to get your art featured, email an example of your work to us at info at getsketchbox.com. And that is Kayana's art. And I'm not going to read the card just yet. Have a sticker. We have a Sketchbox Signature Water Brush. We have three Van Gogh watercolors in Thalo Blue, Olive Green, and Vermilion. And we have a print... Boy, they really like Princeton, don't they? We have a Princeton uh, Sumi brush, or Sumi Yang. And a bunch of cat fluff. Oh, and two, it looks like, watercolor sketch cards made by who? Langton Prestige. They are cold press and not press, which means they have a rough texture to them, rougher than normal cold press. All right, so that's our Sketchbox basic goodies. Oh, that's right. Not going to look at that card just yet. Now for our art snacks. Oh my goodness! Look how cute! It's like the world's tiniest Yupo pad. Oh man, I wish my backlog was caught up because I've done a lot of videos on Yupo that I can't share with you guys because they're not edited. So the world's cutest, tiny, 7-inch size Yupo pad. Our card, which I'm not going to read yet. Our sticker, some Smarties. The Master's Brush Cleaner. And I actually use a big, um, the bigger version. This is like the travel version, but I use the bigger one all the time with my watercolor brushes. I really like this stuff. Share your unboxing with us at Art Snacks. Hashtag Art Snacks. Okay. Oh, <laughs> all right. Okay. So 
So we have a Princeton Elite. We have a core in permanent gamboge. And I really like core watercolors. I have several colors. Um, they are synthetic colors like um, quinacridones. Uh, those sort of colors are gorgeous. So, um, and I don't actually own permanent gamboge in core. And this is a hybrid Technica. And I reviewed these on my blog like a million years ago. Okay, so I guess it's time to start reading. Sketchbox July Basic Box. And look, they included um, photos now of what you're getting. Okay, so three Van Gogh watercolors and they included an MSRP now. Okay, all right, so now I don't have to go hunting for the MSRP. Thank you guys, you made my job a little easier. Uh, Van Gogh watercolors are brilliant, intense, and very transparent. Every color in the line features the highest degree of white light fastness, ensuring that your work displays the same color decades later as it did on the day you painted it. Due to the purity of the colors, Van Gogh watercolors are extremely easy to mix and wash to create the subtlest of differences in shade. Princeton Bamboo Brush Round Number 4, retail price $6.15. Oh, and the Van Goghs are $4.80 each. Princeton Round Bamboo Watercolor Brushes are made with natural hair. Okay, so this is not synthetic. This is going to probably be goat. Um, and are used for watercolors, sumi painting, calligraphy, and sketching. Loose De La Rowney watercolor postcards, retail price, a dollar each. A professional quality acid-free paper that offers excellent absorption and color rendering. The paper is mold made from 100% cotton fibers. The perfect gift to send to friends and family. And then, finally, Sketchbox Signature Water Brush, retail price, $5.50. Our very own water brush. This round medium size is brush is versatile and allows you to precisely control the flow of water. Have fun and remember to tag your art with hashtag Sketchbox July. If you'd like to be included in our monthly contest, the winner gets their art printed on a future box lid, but does not get paid. And if people reviewing the boxes don't read that stuff out loud, you guys don't know who did the, the wonderful art on the box, which is why I always make it a point to read this information and the card information because I think that's really important. So now on to our art snacks goodies. So we're going to start with a riddle. Why was the painting sent to jail? And we have to wait until we get to the other side to find out. So we've got a core watercolor by Golden, 1575 retail. That really depends. Um, new to art snacks. If you've never tried Golden Paint, then you're in for a treat. This prestigious brand, prestigious brand, whichever you prefer to say, is the leader in high quality paints. The Core Watercolor, pronounced Core, line is made with a special binding agent that carries more pigment in each brushstroke. Notice how bright the color is as you apply it to the page. It's going to stay exceptionally bright even after it dries. Elite Synthetic Kalinsky Sable Brush by Princeton Brush, 1250 retail. That's a little high for a synthetic. That's pretty high for a synthetic. Um, staff favorite. The Elite Synthetic Kalinsky Sable Brush looks and performs like, tradi like a traditional sable mink brush, but the strands on this one are synthetic. The soft bristle, blah, blah, blah. This soft bristle brush was designed for use with watercolors and works perfectly with your core watercolor paint. The Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver by General Pencil, $2.59 retail. When you're done with a painting session, how do you clean your brush? You can get more life out of your brushes by using the Master's Brush Cleaner. Run your brush under water, then rub it gently with the soap cake until soap lather is clear. You'll be impressed by the way this cleaner restores even your old brushes. I do really like, I do really like the Master's. Um, if you're a watercolor artist, if you're interested in watercolor, this is definitely something you do want to have. You can also use mild baby shampoo and you should condition your brushes with a mild non-scented uh, conditioner. You can get cheap. You can go Dollar Tree if you need to. Um, I did a, a sort of hackneyed, a sort of limping along um, brush cleaning, brush preparation tutorial, and I need to do a better one now that I have a better setup for that. But this would definitely be one of the tools I include. Pintel Arts Hybrid Technica Rollerball Pin. So that's this right here. The Pintel Arts Hybrid Technica Rollerball Pin is special. It boasts a tungsten carbide, a metallic compound, roller tip that keeps your line consistent. And the pigmented archival ink is water resistant and light fast. You don't have to recap the pin every time you put it down during a drawing session. It's designed not to dry out if it's left uncapped during use.
finally, we've got our adorable bonus item. And I'll probably use um, a full-size Yupo because this size is just so, so tiny and adorable and wee and impossible for me to draw on. But but I, I do use Yupo in my studio. Um, this is a bonus item. Yupo Watercolor Paper by Legion Paper. Um, we've never tried anything like Yupo Watercolor Paper. Watercolor artists everywhere are excited about the new possibilities of working on this non-porous, water-resistant polypropylene blend, which can be wiped clean after you lay down paint. Be careful not to smudge your work as you go. Your new take paint will take... Your new paint will take several minutes to dry, and the ink from your new pen will take longer. Alcohol-based markers also work very well on the surface. Um, eh, eh. So alcohol inks work very well on this. It's very difficult to use alcohol markers in a way many of us are used to with this. Again, I wish I was, I wish I was, I wish my backlog was more edited because I have a lot of videos about using Yupo with different types of markers. And I've actually found that um, pit pins work really, really well on Yupo. Um, and the Windsor and Newton pigment markers work pretty well on Yupo. All right, so why was the painting sent to jail? Because it was framed. Take the Art Snacks Challenge. Use all the products in your box to create an original piece of art. Snap a picture of your artwork and share it on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram with the hashtag Art Snacks Challenge. Like a product, order more. Visit artsnacks.co slash products. Need help? Support at artsnacks.co and www.artsnacks.co. All right, guys. So these are my July goodies. It seems like they both went on a watercolor theme, which is... Uh, Hmm. <laughs> Y'all know I'm a watercolor artist, right? Um, so what's cool about this is I really don't mess around a whole lot with Van Gogh because I've always considered them kind of sub subpar. I've, I've tested them privately and wasn't impressed. So it is cool to get three that I can play around with. Sort of uh, give me more of a, an opportunity to play with that. Um, I've used Langton Prestige watercolor paper in the past. It's all right. It's not my favorite, but it's not terrible. Um, I believe this goes over here. I do not actually use... Uh, I have several Sumi brushes, and I don't I don't use them. That's be because I just... I just don't. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. They just, they just don't work their way into my work. So it'll be fun to play around with these. Um, and I have a fair shake of experience with the synthetics, and I am currently working on a big, I mean huge, watercolor series over on the blog to help people get started. So it's fun to have another synthetic to talk about. So I am excited about this month's apparent watercolor theme. It would be super duper cool if either of those companies reblogged any of the art I did this month. Fingers crossed um, that I won't hold my breath because they never have. Um, so I am excited to demonstrate these for you guys and give you guys some prices. Oh, speaking of, I didn't actually go through the prices on the art snacks. So $15.79. This is a bonus item, so free. $12.50. $2.55. All right, so I will see you guys in a little bit with my overview where I demonstrate these products and give you guys some prices. Bye!